Across Thailand's media landscape, cybercrime and sedition laws created by the former military junta government continue to stifle criticism. Outspoken journalists from agencies including Kalsat summoned and interrogated by the army for attitude adjustment. A disturbing move that some worry is the new norm. There are multiple agencies you know, and tax force dealing with patrolling and policing what the media is saying, what people are saying online. You know, Thai authorities have a very long history and very long, uh, a long-standing culture of patrolling and making sure that the people will say what can be said within the boundaries. So it's not exactly a new normal. I would say it's an extension of the normalcy that we lived in even before the coup anyway. Critics say the increased the media clampdown is a worrying trend given the growing number of charges against journalists and activists. The move is seen by many as copying the harsh treatment used by communist or authoritarian regimes to silence government critics. Under military rule of the NCPO, Thailand seemed to have adopted the Chinese model of media control, the manipulation of news reporting, turning media from being a watchdog of government performance and, and wrongdoings they have been downgraded into lap dogs of the junta. There is a deep political divide in Thailand, often reflected in the coverage of news and policies that shape the country. Voice TV, owned by the family of former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawatras, was shut down for two days during the recent election for criticizing the military. The charge was later dropped by the administrative court. One camp that is somewhat in favor of the junta believes that you need these checks and balances that I mentioned to you on elected politicians. But then you have other members of the press that don't believe that. And they believe that these checks and balances are themselves, in and of themselves, obstacles to a democracy. The newly elected government refused a VOA request for comment about its press policies or press freedom in Thailand. In the meantime, questions remain among Thai journalists whether they will be able to freely do their jobs. Steve Sanford for VOA News, Bangkok, Thailand.